Yeah, yeah. I'm in the booth limbing up right now. Right now. I'm in the booth heating up right now. Right now. Easy yeah. pee. I say big wood smoke a baby. What's up, you guys? It's your girl back with another mukbang. I got a sad burger cake. I just ordered. Hospital Whopper, y'all know this is my favorite from here. I'll let y'all see it again. Hospital Whopper, fries, mozzarella cheese sticks. So I'm just gonna leave the this burger yet. Let's have a good job, baby. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just don't like feeling like people staring me in my face. That's annoying. And then I'm just talking to a camera. People walk past looking down at my phone. No, thank you. So y'all, have a job day. How was work? Can't even be in your car eating peace. You got people standing in your car. Now this burger is massive. Mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Really? Nobody didn't ask. Nobody didn't ask you to eat with me. Yeah, people must just stare me in the face as they walk into the Burger King. Hmm. So y'all, I thought I was recording all that time, and I wasn't. My bad, y'all. I had to clear out some space. As much money as a smartphone costs, you shouldn't have to delete stuff so often. But I heard Samsung's gonna come out with the Galaxy S20. I'm getting it. I'm definitely getting it. These people out here weird. They just walk past and stare you in your face. I thought I was going to have a little privacy being in the car. I did it again. You would think I was raised with no home training. I ain't said my grace. I think what made me forget is because I was having anxiety sitting in there. I don't said I don't be feeling comfortable. I don't want to say why because I don't want nobody to think I'm weird or anything. But sometimes when I'm in a restaurant, I feel like I'm being stared at. So I don't feel comfortable. And that's my nicest way of putting it. I just don't feel comfortable with it. It gives me anxiety. I start having panic attacks. I really don't like being around a lot of people. Especially when I'm alone. It makes me uncomfortable. But. Anyway. I forgot to say grace. I hope the Lord forgive me. Because I'm saying now. Lord thank you for this food. But I've already started eating. Please forgive me. Um, please, Lord, bless the food that already has went into my system. May I not have any impurities or anything to get me sick. I thank you for the food that I have and that I'm able to purchase it. In Jesus' name, I thank you for everything. Amen. Yep, I was being stared at. Mm -hmm. I'm getting full. Oh, yeah, I got all of this. I'm getting full. Today was a good day. A guy came in with a German Shepherd mixed with a poodle. It was still the same size as a German Shepherd, but it had fur like a poodle. He's a um, service dog. The man who I was cutting is was um, retired from the the, na the um, armed forces. He actually went from branch to branch. He did Air Force, Navy, and Army. He just didn't do 
um, the Marines. Very nice man. His wife hugged me for cutting her husband's hair. She said he looked it fluffy. <laughs> I said, so basically he was trying to look like look like the dog. <laughs> that dog was so big, I was scared. But he just laid down on the floor and watched him get the service done. Sweetest man. I can honestly say that um some of my clients definitely make me feel good on the daily. Cause I'm tired of my job. I'm not even gonna lie. The job has become uncomfortable for me, so it's my clients that make me feel appreciated. They make me feel like getting up, taking that 25 mile drive every day just to go and work. I feel like just like they feel like I'm doing such a great and amazing thing for them. They have no idea how much they doing for me. For one, like regardless of what you guys get to see out of me, I am very, very shy. A very, very shy person. And it, I have to get comfortable around people because before I open up. I think it's a part of my anxiety that I don't be feeling comfortable being around people and don't like people looking at me and staring at me. I, I'm in my head like I'm uncomfortable. Get me out. That's the only thing that I'm thinking about. I'm full. Please excuse me. The pops did that. I can't keep eating. It's I'm full. So. There's a few new YouTubers that I am watching. And. I forgot to write down their names. But. I will put them in the description box. Um, I, I can't believe I forgot this, 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 it's this new girl I just started following and she did the Bean Boozle challenge. It was her, her girlfriend, and then they tricked the mom into doing it too, like I did. It was funny. Like, they was doing just like I was, doing. like people don't understand about the Bean Boozle challenge. You don't have to chew it five or six times for you to get that flavor in your mouth. The minute you bite down on it, the nasty flavor just pours right into your mouth. It's horrible, it's nasty, and it makes you gag because the stuff tastes like what the label say. I don't know who set up licking dirty dishwater and eating dog food and all of that to try to figure out what this stuff supposed to taste like, but they hit it on the mark. They hit it on the mark, I promise you. I thought I was more hungrier than I actually was, y'all. So I'm going to close this video out and start driving because it is getting dark. And I really want to get home and get in my bed because... I have to open again. I'm so exhausted. Y'all have no idea. Um, I feel like I'll go home just to sleep and drive all the way back out here just to work again. And I've been opening every night. And then I, clo I close one day. And then ever since then, I've been opening, which is fine. I like opening. But I'm just tired. So 
Y'all pray for me. Um, if you have any ideas or anything you think that I should do my next video on or whatever, give me those ideas. I definitely welcome them. I also want to thank everybody who um, helped my daughter Simply Nisi get to her 500 mark. She has made it. Um, that boy, Ed Hugh, congratulations. You made it to your 1,000. I'm proud of you. I can't wait to get there. I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to do me a little giveaway, and I'm going to do a Q&A. I cannot wait to get up there with y'all. Once you hit a 1,000, it's the sky's the limit from there. Um, I want to thank you guys for joining in. I really appreciate all of the love I've been receiving and all of the support. I also want to say if you are new, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to edit that out. I'm going to edit that out. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Press all so you can get all the notifications on any new video or content I do. Please like, comment. My son disrespectful. I'm recording and he calling me. Um, like, comment. I do talk, talk back. Share, share, share. I cannot stress that enough. Again, I thank you for coming. Please have a blessed day. Next time, eat with me. Have a nice night. Bye.